While awaiting the league's return drags on, these are the top 10 inspirational seasons from NBA players. In a rough 2020, you'll see how each have overcome treacherous circumstances of their own, all leading to the number one most inspiring story this year. Welcome to D-Flow Hoops. If this is your first time here and you're a passionate basketball fan craving for rankings, breakdowns, and all types of entertaining NBA content, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Quick reminder, this is a ranking based off inspiration and not talent. Having said that, number 10, Jason Tatum. The Celtic forward's my personal favorite for most improved player of the year. Jason's showing the true value of what having two seasons under your belt does for an NBA player, leaving defenders in the dust with a mix of patented fadeaways and dominant finishing at the rim. We'd seen him show off those qualities in his rookie and sophomore years, what's really allowed Tatum to confidently lead Boston in scoring, increasing his points per game by 7.9 from last year is his ability to fluently and more aggressively pick his spots. In addition to that confidence, with his added beastly strength, Tatum's intensity and takeover ability is at a different level this year. The work he clearly put in is inspiring to developing under-pressure youngins across the basketball world. Tatum's fully adjusted to the speed of the league, his handles damn improved, and Celtic fans are seeing the man who their team selected third in the 2017 draft live up to top pick expectations. Number 9, Russell Westbrook. After making a career-low 36% of his shots in OKC, Russ has exhilaratingly made a career best in 8th among all point guards, 47.4% of his shots in 2019-20. So Brody's label of being an inefficient stat chaser is officially a thing of the past. I still need to see him taking less than 4 threes per game. But it was clear at age 31, even with 12 years of NBA mileage, that we were witnessing the best version of Westbrook we've ever seen. His two-way explosiveness has been a perfect fit with the three-point shooting Rockets to the point where GM Daryl Morey built the team around him, trading an elite center for even more spacing. All around, Westbrook was showing off supreme mental toughness after an embarrassing loss in his matchup with Dame last year. Being that he's at his peak mentally and physically in 2020, if the season returns, look for Russ to take over in a way us fans have never witnessed before. Number 8, Brandon Ingram. Headlined by his first All-Star appearance, B.I.'s dominated in New Orleans after getting heartbreakingly moved by Le GM last summer. However, right off the bat, Ingram held no bitterness towards the move when asked if he needed the trade back on October 31st. Ingram said, quote unquote, I don't know, I feel like God's plan is God's plan. I would be wrong to say I didn't need it because it happened for a reason. I wasn't mad about it at all. I just looked at it as another opportunity. Following that early season interview with the reputable Mark Spears, Ingram in just 0.5 more minutes than 2018-19 has gone on to set career highs in points, rebounds, assists, and steals but it's his three-point percentage that's most impressive. It's just under 6% higher from his catching and shooting next to LeBron days. Brandon Ingram has a shocking new poised mentality this season and every physical tool to get any shot he wants at the rim. Not to mention he's 22 years old, putting up over 24 points per game. Number seven, Carmelo Anthony. There was a time Melo was the same young up-and-coming killer that Ingram is today. Despite becoming the 2013 scoring champ in New York and ultimately a 10-time All-Star and 6-time All-NBA player, Carmelo's value took an unfair hit, especially when he was waived 10 games into the 2017-18 season by the aforementioned Daryl Morey in Houston. The fact that Melo was left as a free agent until November of the next season, considering the Hall of Fame legacy, is fairly ridiculous that not one of 30 NBA executives didn't think that with some competent coaching, Anthony's scoring could be a serious weapon in their offense. Much respect to Portland GM Neil O'Shea for finally realizing that. Portland's now competing for a playoff spot, and without the contributions of Carmelo, it's hard to believe that'd be the case. Most inspiring from Carmelo is the fact that he's come back to the vicious speed of the NBA after over a year of not playing and being completely given up on, and yet he's producing this damn solidly. Number 6, Gordon Hayward. While Boston's wing has put it far behind him, it's insane when you look back and realize what this man Hayward's come back from. The gruesomeness of that injury back on 2017's opening night was utterly tragic. Instantly, everyone knew he'd be out for the foreseeable future, but with his struggles for the next season, the sympathy among fans for the former All-Star quickly dwindled. Gordon played 72 games, got mentally beat up by Kyrie, and other than his rookie year, had his worst year scoring the basketball. With a 2019-20 stat line relating to a 50-40-90 season, What? 
No one would make that connection. Well, you get the idea. Hayward's a different type of efficient compared to last season, consistently getting to his spot and splashing in clutch daggers for one of the best teams in the NBA in Beantown. Top 5 most inspirational players next, shout out Toronto saying Serge Ibaka had one of the biggest turnarounds this year, then credits his blossom and transition to today's NBA. Question for next vid shout out on its way, top 5 on the board get yearly awards. Number 5 Vince Carter This ranking wouldn't be complete without Atlanta's veteran leader and overall NBA legend the great VC. Sensationally, it was just under 22 years ago when Air Canada burst onto the scene to save the NBA's expansion to Canada, when Vancouver's second pick Steve Francis refused to play in Canada two years earlier. I do not want to play in Vancouver. Then went on to be co-rookie of the year and a three-time All-Star in Houston. The Grizzlies couldn't sell enough tickets to stay north of the border. They were forced to relocate to Memphis in 2001 with many left wondering what would have happened if Francis just played where he was drafted in the scenic future Olympic holding Vancouver. That's all relevant because VC conversely embraced playing in another country, led the Raptors a jumper away from the conference finals, and became widely regarded as the greatest dunker of all time. He would then go on to play star roles in New Jersey and Orlando, before transitioning into a role player for the next decade, going on to play with five more teams from 2010 until now. This inspiration ranking, however, is based off this season, where Carter's playing in his NBA record-setting 22nd season. He just turned 43 years old, and the fact that he's played in 60 games and getting up and down the floor is pretty inspirational on its own. Number 4 Kyle Lowry Dubbed North Philly's finest, Kyle's feistiness mixed with an elite awareness on both ends, even on his 34th birthday, is making him an iconic figure across the basketball world. With many, most notably former NBA player turned analyst Dennis Scott not picking Toronto to get to the playoffs, Part of that decision was likely assuming the aging Lowry would drop off. Instead, the 15-year veteran's averaging nearly 20-8 and eight and is leading the league in charges drawn and also drew three of them in the All-Star game. There's very few players, no other All-Stars that display that type of heart. Kyle Lowry's underrated, but a one-of-a-kind type of talent. Best of anything he brings to the table is his class-personified mentality. Sure, Lowry gets under guys' skin between the lines, but unlike others with his lay-it-all-out-there type of playstyle, he's a mentor to young guards and friend to all-stars and respected by his peers league-wide. Number 3, Derrick Rose. Unpredictably regaining his star status for now the second season in a row after tumultuous seasons from 2013 to 18. Sure, the MVP version of D-Rose is a thing of the past, but we were witnessing the most efficient season of Derrick's career. In 26 minutes for the team with the 26th best record in the NBA, D-Rose is making just about half of his attempts from the field while being fourth in bench scoring. I just factored in his much lesser minutes than his prime, but that career high seems even more impressive when taking into account how opposing defenses are mauling him when he comes off the bench for the fairly thin Pistons. Flashing back to the summer after Derrick's lone year in New York back in 2016-17, where his season was cut short for a fourth time due to knee injury. Next, Rose signed with the Cavs, but missed more than two months with ankle injuries, eventually being traded to the Jazz, where they immediately waived him. He was a free agent for just one month of the 17-18 season, and his NBA career being over seemed like a foregone conclusion. I mean, Rose was getting hurt so consistently, and it's safe to say no one could have presumed that after Minnesota picked him up on March 8, 2018, that he'd spend the next two seasons playing the most efficient ball of his career while being injury-free. Rose is displaying no matter how severe your injury is, there's always a way to bounce back from it strongly in the NBA. Number 2 LeBron James, currently flexing with the James Gang on the gram. Before quarantining, LeBron was regaining the throne in 2019-20, purely based off how he was competing out there. There likely wasn't a man more upset about the NBA suspension than King James, beasting to the bucket with reckless abandon, no matter how talented a reputable defender. LBJ wasn't considering that and was using his strength ruthlessly to get what he wanted. You know you're alive to witness one of the greatest athletes ever when at 35, having recently carried his team to eight straight finals appearances, 
and in his 17th season, LeBron's attacking of the basket could be as dominant and polished as it's ever been before. Not only has he inspired older stars that there could be more time on their career than they initially thought, but James continues to be the game's greatest icon off the floor. Following the league's most unforeseen tragedy ever, losing legends and passionate basketball family members in the LA area, the face of the Lakers and the NBA LeBron James has graciously stepped up in commemoration of his friend and fellow all-time great Kobe. I've seen some saying that this was LeBron's last chance to win a ring, even though I don't think the season's getting cancelled, even if it does, LeBron still has a ton left in the tank. For proof, look at what he did in his pre-playoff battles with the Clippers and Bucks in back-to-back -back games. Braun was gearing up for his typical Zero Dark 30 playoff run. Hopefully we get to see him execute that this year. Number 1 is next. Honorable mentions to breakout 2020 superstars Luka Doncic, Trey Young, and Donovan Mitchell, breakout youngins Terrence Davis and Christian Wood, and lastly, the current top of the league talents in Milwaukee's inspirational seasons from both Giannis and Chris as well as Bradley Beal and Damian Lillard. While all those players' talent would get a top spot on his top 10, I'll say it again, this list ranks inspiration and not talent. Number one, Chris Paul. Yes, he just headlined my veterans bouncing back list. I talked about how the Thunder stole him in the Westbrook deal. I didn't key in on several big factors. The first one being how the trade impacted Chris personally. Because getting moved for four first rounders in addition to a conference rival at the same position as him in Russ could have completely demoralized Paul's confidence. It would have been easy for the aging point guard to roll with the narrative that his best days were behind him or that he was too injury prone. But instead in OKC, the soon to be 35 year old CP3s having his most efficient season since 2009-10. Then there's the sensational impact Chris is having on the Thunder organization's future and present culture. Whether it's his chemistry with Steven Adams, the return of his patented deep range daggers, or his all time great passing awareness, he's utterly vamped the Thunder's offensive flow. But it's Paul's mentorship and chemistry with their rising star Shea Gilgis Alexander that increases his inspirational ranking to number one. On the other end of the floor, he and his backup Dennis Schroeder, who's going to be featured on an upcoming list of mine, are second and third in defensive real plus minus. Oklahoma City was overlooked by the media, but were maybe the best storyline of the 2020 season. But who's the most inspirational player in your opinion? I want to be your friend during these tough times. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be posting some things they wouldn't usually expose to you about the NBA's return on those two platforms. Splash like and subscribe though if you enjoyed. I'm DFlow. Catch up on some of my recent uploads, and I'll see you next video.